Hi there, it's Kathy Chow Isaacs, also known as at I Wear the Crowns on Twitter. How is everyone today? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue working on the Python 101 lessons available in Minecraft. So um, to get to them, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to play um view library the content library in minecraft education edition is phenomenal so if you haven't had a chance to look through there definitely do that um, and then we're going to go to lessons and we're going to go to the computer science lesson um, subject kit so in here we're going to choose python and python 101 we are on lesson eight and it looks like the narrative for lesson eight is planting a seed okay so um every one of the lessons will give you a brief description and some learning objectives which you can expand um you can also choose the lesson plan button which will take you out to the Minecraft education site and take you to the actual lesson page uh lesson plan page right so um a little bit uh, they go a little bit deeper into the learning objectives, objectives, guiding ideas, and here's the thing. Oh, and the concepts that will be covered. So um, there's also an educa educator guide that accompanies uh, each lesson, which is really, really handy to have. Um, so I'll go ahead and just click on that. And this is a PDF, which you can download, you can print. I'm guilty of printing it because I like paper, um, even though I shouldn't. So anyway, um, everything you need. So it looks like the concept that's going to be covered in this lesson is functions. So that's really awesome. And again, all the lesson objectives, everything you need to um, present this lesson to your class, uh, the introduction, coding concepts. And if you look, it'll uh, kind of go through each of the activities for you as well. Um, and give you the code snippet keys, okay? So I'm just scrolling through pretty quickly so we can see that. So there are gonna be three sections. It's kind of been like, or three coding parts, uh, just like the other lessons in this series. And then finally, uh, there's uh, closing activities for you, uh, maps to CSTA and ISTE standards, and then um, the block commands that you're gonna be using inside of this lesson, okay? Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get to it. So here we are, we're going to create the world and let's get started. I should, whoops, come on, come on Minecraft. Next time I will start the world and then go to the website. All right, so here we are, we're at CodeMine. The instructions right there on uh, above our hot bar says talk to the CEO. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna walk in and that person looks like they're the CEO. So I'm gonna right click to talk to them. Hi, we're trying to help an ecological organization with their project. They want to plant a large number of trees in a very short time. That is why we wanna develop the agent to do it, um, it should be very easy then. However, we have been having some problems. Can you help us? Of course, of course. Um, you know, remember anything in Minecraft that has text can be immersively read. So you can um, use this book with the speaker uh, and that will launch the immersive reader and read that aloud to you in a variety of, my goodness, a huge selection of <laughs> classes. And Layla's here. She's gonna join us. Hi, Layla. Are you going to code with us? What is that? You found a scrunchie. I made it. You made a scrunchie. That's awesome. Can you write the algorithm? That's a really pretty fabric. Thanks. Okay. So let's see. So let's talk Are to this first this? person. Nope. I'm going to include you in it. There she is. Okay. Activity one, the developer. So let's go ahead and chat with the developer. Um, I need your help. I need to get the agent to till the grass blocks, plant samplings, then fertilize the saplings. However, I can't seem to get the agent to till each of the grass blocks in a row. Can you write um, some code to help me with my problem? Sure. Okay. And then we have try again here. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Um, let's take a look at what the agent needs to do. So um, I guess the agent needs to till from where it is all the way to the gold. Um, and then maybe what we'll do is we'll count how many blocks are here. One, two, three, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Okay, so we think we're going to 
till 12. Um, but we have a lot to do. We have to till and we have to plant and then we have to fertilize. So, um, you know, those, the concept that we're covering today is that of a function. And if we look on the wall, we'll see that this board says the Minecraft Python function structure looks like this. You have to first make or define a function by def function underscore name. Uh, you put your code in and then you use or call the function by the function name. Okay, so let's go ahead and now that we've seen what we need the agent to do, we're gonna go ahead and press C and attempt to code a solution. So the Python lessons, these are, um, uh oh, oh, I hope that that's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so this is right inside of make code. There's a no notebook this time. And all right, so let's look at the parts. Now remember uh, in Python to comment out a line of code, it starts with a hashtag and then um, each part of the code or each part of the lesson or this part of the lesson, um, they're indented. So what we need to do is we need to um, complete the part ones first and then we'll complete part twos, which is usually on the other side of the room. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to declare our function, right? And so um, we can go back and we can look and take a note. I'm gonna go back and look at the wall and I might have to write it down. But if we want to define a function, we have to say def space function underscore name and um, parentheses colon. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm gonna write that down because I don't think I can open that. Well, I can open it, but it doesn't look pretty. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so def define function, and then it has to have underscore the name, and we're gonna have the parentheses and a colon, code, code, and then call function by um, just saying function name, call it function. And I'll just say that and hopefully I'll remember when I go back. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit C. So I'll replace, your, replace with your functions below the hashtag, replace with your comment about the function below. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to till, we need to plant, and we need to fertilize. So there might be, and um, there are 12, looks like 12 blocks between the pink, pink to gold. So I'm just writing a note down so that I know what's, what we need to do. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna declare a function. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit enter. We're gonna keep that comment there and I'm gonna say def space function underscore function name will be, let's call it till. Okay, so when you name your functions, it should um, make sense. Like you should, it, you should know what this function is going to do, uh, you know, tomorrow. Okay, so now uh, function def, def function till. Okay, and then this one is saying uh, the next step in part one is make the agent till to its left. Okay, so I'm going to guess that the function is probably. Oh, and actually, we saw that on the board we need an indent for that code. So um, let's say agent um, till, is that, a th is that, oh, function till, no, agent till, function till, okay. There are some things, you know what we might need to do? We're gonna have to take advantage of the fact that there are some blocks over here. So let's do that indent and we're gonna say agent, Okay, can the agent do any of this stuff? Agent till direction. Oh, thank goodness, because I did not know how to write that. Agent till. Oh, I was so close. Agent till, and we want it, it says till to the left. Okay, left, and we're going to go capital letter. Okay, and then make the agent place a sapling to the left. Okay, you know what? I always hit enter. I'm going to put my cursor there and see. Um, so I'm going to go back to the agent categories and I'm going to say place, I guess, place direction, place a sapling. 
Okay, so, ah, this is not easy. Let's put 